Today we're going to explain how to add custom actions to the record view. As an example, we're going to add a new link account action to the opportunities module. As you can see here, we have a new entry with the label link accounts on our actions dropdown. When you click on it, a record selection model is going to display and it shows a list of accounts that I can select. I'm going to select a new record. The current opportunity was reloaded and the account has been replaced on the account name here, as you can see. Now let's look into the code to see how this works. When we get to the codes, the first thing to understand is where is the best definitions for the actions and under config services module record view actions, you have an entry called module record view actions where you can find the base action definitions under the default you'll see here that we have the base actions that apply to most modules, if not all, like edit, save, save new, cancel, and so forth. We also have a modules entry where you can define module specific actions. And this is the place where we're going to add our new custom action. As an alternative, you can also add your custom actions on the detail view devs of your module, opportunities in this case. So let's see how to add a new action configuration. On our default TXT or on your plugin, you can add under config the following structure, modules, opportunities, record view, actions. We've added the modules opportunities because this is a module specific actions and specific to opportunities. Then we follow the same structure as you saw on core. So record view, actions. And here we can add multiple actions if you need. We've added our new leak accounts file, which is going to add our new action. So to add this new configuration, the first thing you need to do is to add the base setup in order to inject Symfony container parameters. So we'll need the namespace, add the static function and so forth. Then within that, we're going to get the record actions for opportunities from our base parameter. So module record view actions, as we saw before. So from that, we get actions, we get the modules section, then we opportunities and from opportunities actions. And if some of these are not defined, they will be instantiated with a new empty array. Second step is to add our new action configuration. So I've added here link accounts with the key. So this key is very important, which is because this is the way to link to the backends. Then you add a new label. So this label is new. We'll have to define it on custom extensions. Then we say that this is an async process because we want to call the backend. And yet again, this key is going to be the link. Then we define the modes where this action applies. So detail and add in this case, uh, and DCL. So this is an important point. We are already on a opportunity record. So we know that the user has access to that opportunity. So we don't need to check access to opportunities. What you need to check if the user has access to accounts. So to do that, you can define this ACL module here and it's going to use the accounts module and check these ACLs against the accounts module. So for that link accounts action to appear, the current user needs to have view access to accounts or whatever ACLs you define for your action. Then, as you saw before, when you click on the link accounts, a record selection model shows up with a list of accounts. So that is defined here. You add the params and select model. And we say that we want on the select model show accounts. The accounts that you select on that model is going to be sent to the backends and then the backend can do whatever he wants with that. Last step on this file is to add it back to the Symfony parameters. So we add the record actions part back to the opportunities and opportunities back to the modules and modules to the actions and actions back to our parameter. Now let's go to the next step of this configuration, which is to add our backend process handler. You can add that under modules, so still under your 
extensions default txt modules opportunities because this is specific to opportunities then then follow the same structure that you have on core so process service record actions and here our new action on the file for this process handler you have to do two things one is to implement the process handler interface and then to extend legacy handler in this case because we will need access to legacy that's why we need to extend legacy handler if your action does not need access to the legacy side you don't need to extend it but you will always need to implement the process handler interface so the first thing is to add the methods that are required by this interface so the process type get a new key these is where you define the link to the action that you configured and as you can see here i'm doing opportunity link account now as you can see here it has a dash record dash that's required because the front end is going to prepend this record dash to all the record actions that's why you need to add this here so this is record dash and then the name of the key you add on your configuration then you'll need to define the auth role so we need an authenticated user that's why you need add here role user then the required ACLs and these ACLs are the ones that are checked on the backend. So when the frontend does the request of the backend, the backend is going to check ACLs. And the ACLs that we are going to check here is if the current user has access to the main module or the main record, which is opportunities, this is going to be opportunities. If it has access to view that specific opportunity, so the current record that he is looking into, and then the second thing we need to check is if he has access to the account. So that's what we're going here. We're going to get the model records and ID and module. I'm going to check, do you have a ACLs or access to view accounts, uh, these accounts? So this, with this ID, do you have access? So this is what has been defined here on the ACLs. So the configure is standard. No need to look into that now. Then we also need to add the validations. And here we're going to check if our required ID is here. Uh, if, if you have a base module, so opportunities with ID. So if it's really an opportunity or not, if, if the ID is defined, because we need that. And then for the model module, the same. So if it's an account and if the model ID is defined. Lastly, we need to add our run method. And this is what's going to do our action. So it's, it's what's going to link our account. On that, we first get our data. And then I've added here a link account methods just to be simpler. And this link account method is what's going to do our ac actual action. So it's going to initialize the legacy handler. And when we're within this here is as if we were within suite seven, so on legacy. So we're going to get our uh, opportunity and our account using Bing factory. And if the account is empty, so we're going to call close, meaning we're going to close the legacy handler and then return a status saying, hey, sorry, there's an error. The record was not found, so the account was not found. If uh, the account is found and everything is okay, we're going to link it. So we're going to link the account ID to the opportunity, we're going to save, and then we're going to prepare the response data for the front end. One of the things that the front end will need to do is to reload. Otherwise, the account name link is going to be outdated it's going to still show the previous account so we need to tell the front end to reload then we're going to say it's going to everything went okay and we add a specific message and finally we close the legacy handler back to our own method we add that feedback to our process and this is going to be sent to the front end the last step you need to do is to add your new label. Please don't forget that. So I've added that here on public legacy custom extension modules opportunity ext language link account. So you need to add this. Otherwise, your label is not going to show. Other than that, the only thing you need to do is to clear cache and do repair and rebuild. And you should be able to see your new custom action working.